Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, setting up a wireless network in the packet tracer. So, if you want to uh, look at this scenario somehow simpler and easier, uh, what do we need? Imagine your house. So, you just need a cable modem, and also you need an access point here. And as you turn it on, you come here and go to the LAN setting. Choose SSID for that and just password based on the protocol that you're using WEP, WA, WPA, PA2. Just you're gonna set a password and you know a key for that. This is the whole concept, it's not a big deal and it will be uh, done easily. So, we're not gonna think of that, we're gonna think of a bigger scope or bigger scale for that. And what's that? Uh, imagine. A mall, a big mall, an airport, something like that. How the administrator of that place uh, will assign or how uh, will manage that situation? How? This is the question. And this is somehow the uh, you know, configuration or the architecture of the structure that they're going to use. At first, what do we need? We need the DHCP server. So, this is our DHCP server. What do we have here? This is our DHCP. Let's first take a look at the configuration of that. It has an IP address and DNS. And here, because uh, the DHCP server is going to assign IP addresses to the users uh, on this configuration, the aesthetic IP address, all of that, and also the default gateway, both are the same. And then we come here, we'll see we have a default gateway, DNS, it is on, and we have a range for that. So uh, I've chosen that from 10, 1, 1, 110, start from here, and based on that range, so the DHCP user will gonna assign IP addresses uh, about, again, 110 numbers. Uh, we can change it, and the number will be changed definitely, but we're not gonna do that anyway. So we have a default gateway, DNS server, start IP address, the subnet mask, users, and also WLC, which is also here. What is WLC? Uh, this is the part that uh, I showed you, the a simple uh, access point that you, uh, what you do, you're going to just assign user and password on that. But uh, as I told you, imagine a big place like a mall or an airport. So it will, I don't know, have lots of access points. And it is not logical to go uh, and configure each access point one by one. It will be time consuming and it will be difficult to uh, do some sort of changes, even minor changes. You have to do on, uh, the changes on all of them one by one. So it is better to have a controller uh, to manage the system, to do uh, once uh, a change on the controller and the controller will assign the change on all of them. It is definitely better and more logical to have a better uh, troubleshooting or maintenance of the system. So what is the uh, thing? It is here, WLC wireless uh, controller access. So at first, what do we need? Just assign IP address on that, which is definitely shouldn't be on our uh, range of the IP addresses, which is the DHCP is going to uh, set. It should uh, have an uh, you know sort of aesthetic IP address so it has and uh, there is a PC here in order to do what in order to do the management stuff it's for operating or management for monitoring so we come here to the browser and 10.1.1.50 oh it's HTTPS good so this is our server. I'm gonna log in. This is the admin admin one three. It's just a test. We're not gonna assign uh, something easy as a username and password easy to find. So, uh, what do we have now? Let me make it somehow bigger. Okay. This is our configuration. One of the ports are connected now. Good. So we have that here. And also it is saying the rest of the configurations and stuff like that, which uh, service, which protocol, which band, 
and if you come here to the WLAN, this is the LAN that I've done on the configurations. This is the concept, uh, this is the place that I assigned uh, user SSID password at the protocol of encryption WPWPA2 and also not controlling wireless. Yeah. In the wireless, what do we have here? It is the number of, look, this is the IP addresses. Definitely they are uh, our access points and these IP addresses are based on the DHCP server because it's not important. So, yeah, this is the information about uh, number of access points, which are two here. Look, this one and this one. And it is based off, you know, it is based on our chance. Based on our chance, these devices are connected to this one, but this one also works. Let's see the configuration just. It is pretty easy. Just the DHCP. So, based on that DHCP, it will uh, get the IP address. And based on that DHCP address, this access point will know about the all of the controlling the stuff all of the management and stuff and it knows okay based on that ip uh, there will be a controller and that controller will do everything for me so i'm not i'm not going to do anything i'm just uh broadcast i'm just uh broadcast uh, the and propagate the data this is my responsibility anyway so this is with the pc for if I want to take a look again at this architecture, we have a PC in order to telnet the server, in order to telnet the controller, to do the operation, or I don't know, to maintenance or whatever, even administrator stuff. We have a server to assign the IP addresses. There is a modem in order to bring the internet, bring the service from the internet service provider, and a controller, a switch for uh, do the connectivity, uh, between all of the devices and also for propagation or broadcasting we need uh, some access points this is the concept this is the uh, configuration or architecture that uh, we uh, should bear that in mind uh, we should think of that we should need to run a network in a place for many users but there is another concept so it was pretty easy there's another concept uh, for wired or even a wireless system, there's a protocol radius. So let's take a look at the radius. This is the first or initial uh, thing that we can bear that in mind or we can consider that. We have a user, what, what is the user? User is the subscriber, is the one who wants uh, to use a service. So this is a user, maybe, I don't know, it wants to surf the net. So it sends a request, hey, I want to surf the net. And there is someone who sits between the server and the user which is the radius client it is based on the radius uh, protocol which is one of the triple a this radius client is the one who communicates to the server not the user is going to communicate to the uh, server directly uh, this one will communicate to the server and will uh, check all of the authentication stuff you know we have a server server it has all of the information about the port, about this, what, uh, I don't know, what type of service you're gonna use, about your level of access, all of them are like a, a data center, like, a, you know, proxy, something like that. All of them are here, but uh, this is the responsibility of, responsibility of this module to do all of the things. So as you want to use a server, once you send your request, uh, you this radius client will uh, communicate to you and will uh, assign, I don't know, whatever you want to you. But behind the scene, this radius client is going to talk this radius server to check. Are you a right person? Do you have the authentication? Do you have, are you authorized for that? This is the concept of the security. For that, what I've done in the packet tracer, uh, there are two protocols for that. The first one is uh, radius and the other one is tactax. So we're going to take a look at them. This one, look, we have a triple A server here. How? Triple A. What do we have? Uh, there is a name. There is a client IP address. So definitely when this is the server, this one is the client. And this, IP, this interface IP address is the IP address that we're going to assign here. We need a port for that and also username and password. So this is our username and password. This is all of the configurations and uh, what we've done on that server. 
okay and exactly the same here just the protocol is different totally the same but how does it work let's see and all of them are connected uh, to each other via your rerouting protocol so this laptop can ping everything here there is a command which i uh let me see cisco cisco look here it is debug sorry angle on the tree so there is a debug a triple a authentication so based on that command uh whenever someone uh tries i mean whether it is uh uh, you know successful or not whenever someone tries to uh, telnet th that routers now we're going to talk about telnet whenever someone uh, tries to telnet the router there is a log here so we will see that let's have it here so bring that one this is our command prompt so we can ping all of the network let's ping this one 192 168 that zero that one it works ping and let's try to tell like that tell net cisco cisco enable one two three okay good let's take a look at that yes we have that what is the peak method it's the default what is that we're gonna see and exactly the same scenario here if we try to uh, tell net this one there will be a log there but let's see see the configuration here how we're we gonna uh do the, all of the configurations go to the config terminal uh let's see uh by default look we have some sort of authentications the first thing is enable we, we can assign user and password on a laptop on a router it's the easiest and then we can go for uh enable we can go for enable password and after that do the, the service password encryption in order to encrypt that or we can go for enable secret there's no need secret there's no need to type uh, service password encryption so this is the first thing but for the telnet how we do it we go to line uh, vty 4 and then assign a password something and finally we type the login and it is finished but here what we've done we've uh, just line vty without adding any password or any login uh, and this is the responsibility of a triple a server to assign that password which we've seen that look uh, exit exit and exit what was the password if you come here we'll see cisco and cisco this is the password that when I wanted to tell it, I used. So this is the responsibility of that. Just we do need to first tell that router there is a triple A server. You should listen to that, and that triple A server will do the uh, login uh, authentication for you. So enable one two three and go to configuration. How? What do we need at first? A A A triple A what first new model this is the first thing that we're gonna hit on that hit on the enter and we have a triple A new model so we're gonna add a model for that and then authentication triple A authentication but do we have enable login PP so we're gonna go for login login default if you come here we'll see set peak method default this is the default login default and then what do we have a group what is our group look radius and tactics so we're gonna say radius and yes we're done hit the enter after that after doing that because it, it's uh you know it is set up already i'm not gonna enter that but this is the concept and then so now the router will know there is a authentication a triple a authentication method what is the server we're gonna go for radius server host what is the host it is the ip address of that server for example this number and there is a 
authentication port. So when you go for authentication port, what is the authentication port? Here, what do we have? Triple A. There is a port. This is the number 1812 that I assigned to that. So we're gonna add that number 12. And what do we have? More key. We need a pre-share key. And again, it should be the same with this key. So oops, we are here. There is a key, for example, sometimes hit the enter. So it's done. Now we've uh, configured the AAA new model, uh, the configuration of the AAA, and also, uh, you know, we introduced to the router the server for do the uh, authentication, AAA method. After that, what should we do? Let's go for the line VTY. Line VTY is 0 to 4, and I told you password and then login, but there's no password because the password is already set on. The server we're gonna just do the logging but login what login authentication default because it that, that place was default and hit the enter this is the whole concept and totally this configuration is the same with tactax uh, plus or tactax uh, the configuration is the same and this is the way that you can use a server a triple a server or server uh to do all of the management to assign the ip address and in order to have logs so this is the con this concept of the, the security which is exists in the ccna exam and uh, which is important and also we have somehow the same in the mobile networks in the lte but instead of uh get this here uh, here instead of the uh radius client and radius server we have mme and hss here but the concept is the same so uh, we do need to learn that concept uh, these are all the things that i wanted to tell you if you enjoyed uh show a thumbs up hit on the like button and uh, if don't uh, hopefully you watch that video thanks for that uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel bye everyone